morning. It is Sunday around here, and we are brewing coffee, and then we will be off to church. And as per usual, we are late. So, quick change of plans. We are actually going to end up going to the evening service. Yes, we're that late. So we're going to head to lunch. Any idea where you would like to go? Kudaba! I think we're going to go out for Mexican. So, Mexican food. Kind of turned into waffles. So today I'm going to build an alcohol stove. Thing is though, there's already so many alcohol stove tutorials out there. And some of them are really good and relatively easy. So I started thinking about all the competing designs for alcohol stoves that are already out there. And a, and a lot of these tutorials are so well done, I'm not even going to attempt to compete. Some of them spin the flames as they come out, and some of them are more like jet engines by the time it's all done. They have wicking materials out of fiberglass and all this, that, and they're all really well done. But there are plenty of ones out there already for all kinds of various different designs that are really just phenomenal. Just infinitely complicated all the way down to the most basic with some holes poked in it. So I started thinking, well, what detail is missing and what detail is really critical for the next project that I need the alcohol stove for? Well, after thinking about it, I realized that what I really need out of an alcohol stove is an adjustable flame. So I haven't figured it out yet. I'm going to have to trial and error a couple of different ways of going about that. I'll bring you along for it, but that's generally what we're working on. Oh yeah, one more thing. We're also going to kind of cater more towards designs that have a more pointed flame that's more direct rather than an alcohol stove that looks more like that. And the reason for this is tomorrow's project requires a concentrated adjustable flame. And you'll have to you'll have to wait and see. You're gonna like it. The only hint I'll give you is that it revolves around coffee from another part of the world. If it burns too fast, all the fuel is gone before the coffee is hot. If it burns too slow, the coffee never gets hot before the fuel is consumed. If that makes any sense. Technically, all coffee is from somewhere else in the world. I'll admit, I had no idea how complicated it was to get the lighting right. So I'm about to share with you a beverage I'm sure you've probably never seen before. Don't get me wrong, it's not alcoholic or anything. It's actually extremely well caffeinated. It also contains large amounts of theobromine, theanine, and uh, a few other odds and ends. It rebalances your neurochemistry. It's probably one of the most unique, amazing beverages in the world, and it's indigenous to South America. Now, you don't actually have to shake it, but it's kind of a twist that I saw at a tea place in Asheville that I showed you earlier this week. You're gonna love this. Now, if you can't tell, it's actually bright green, and the shaking just gives it a little bit of foam and changes the mouthfeel a little bit. I absolutely love this stuff. This is iced yerba mate. Excellent. So kind of as I was saying, mate is infamous for rebalancing your neurochemistry and doing all kinds of wonderful things for you. It's uh, high in caffeine, high in theobromine. Theobromine is the feel-good chemical found in chocolate. It's why a good piece of dark chocolate can uh, help with minor blues. So I'm going to be honest, um, I got all the supplies together for the alcohol stove build. I'm gonna have to get started on it tomorrow. Uh, my wife and I spent most of the day cleaning house and just general maintenance tasks, and that's really boring. So, well, I'll see you on the next one. Oh yeah, one last thing. Check out part two of the fidget spinner video. That's actually another thing that I spent a good bit of time editing today. So yeah, that's basically it. Oh, and if you haven't yet, 